In this series of videos I'll show you how to solve the material balance for a steam reformer. So the problem statement is shown in the video description and it says that we've got methane reacting with water to give us carbon monoxide and hydrogen that's the reforming reaction and then we've also got carbon monoxide reacting with water to give us carbon dioxide and hydrogen that's the water gas shift reaction. So the reformer itself has a packed bed catalyst and we have natural gas going in there and we also have steam. And then coming out we have the products that have been formed and we know that these will come out at 850 degrees C and 15 bar because that's the temperature and pressure that the steam reformer is going to be operated at. Now to solve this problem we're going to take a basis and we're going to set that basis to be 1 k mole of natural gas. Now because the composition is given in the problem statement we know that the CH4 will be 0 0.9 moles because it's 90 more percent methane for the natural gas and then we've got ethane C2H6 that is 0 0.06 k moles CO2 uh, is 2 more percent so 0 0.02 N2 equals 0 0.02 as well because again that is 2 more percent now the question also tells us to set the ratio of carbon in the feed to H2O as 1 to 4. So set C to H2O 1 to 4. Now the total carbon in the feed is 0 0.9 k moles from the methane. Two lots of 0 0.06 so that's 0 0.12 moles of carbon from the ethane and 0 0.02 k moles of carbon from the CO2. So we actually have 1.04 k moles of carbon in the feed so that means that we need 4.16 so four times that for the steam coming in. Now we're going to use this information to set up a table um, of, of what's coming in and what's going out so that we can solve the material balance. So we have CH4, C2H6, CO2, N2. We also have the H2O coming in as, a, as the form of steam. Uh, we've got CO and H2 as well. Now they're not coming in but we need to include those as the products from this. So we'll set this table up so in terms of what's coming in we know we've got 0 0.9 methane 0 0.9 camels of methane 0 0.06 ethane 0 0.02 for both the CO2 and the N2. The water we've already worked out is 4.16. That's uh, something that was told, we were given in the problem statement. And we know we've got zero CO and zero H2 coming in. In terms of what's coming out then, we are going to set the methane coming out as a variable X. So we don't know this at this point, but we're gonna give it uh, label X that we're going to solve for later on. The ethane we're told to assume that, that all decomposes into CO and H2 so that is going to be zero for the outlet. The CO2 we're going to solve by an elemental balance in the next video using carbon. The N2 is inert so that just comes out so 0 0.02 what goes in comes out for that one. The H2O we're going to solve by an elemental balance using oxygen the CO, we're going to set that as Y, another variable that we need to solve for. And then finally the H2, we're going to do a hydrogen balance over the system 
to work out what's coming out in terms of H2. So we've now set up the problem and we're going to look at some elemental balances in the next video as the next step in solving this problem.